Today in this video, I'll show you how to find the square roots of 4 digit numbers and cube roots of 6 digit numbers. In order to find the square roots, you need to remember the squares of 1 to 10 and unit digits of these squares. The figure here shows the unit digits of squares of numbers from 1 to 10. Now let us try finding the square roots of few numbers. Let's say 7056. If we look at the last digit of this number, which is 6, we can clearly say the last digit of this square root will be 4 or 6. Now let's take a look at first two digit of this number, which is 70 which is greater than the square of 8 and smaller than the square of 9. So the first digit will be 8. As far as now, we can say the square root of this number can be 84 or 86. To find out, we will take a look at these two digits which is 8 and 9 which are the tens digits multiply these two you will get 72 and 70 is smaller than 72 so the result will be the smallest number between these two numbers which is 84 your answer will be 84 Here is an another example, 5041. Now if we take a look at its last digit, we can say the last digit of the square root will be 1 or 9. Now the first two digit 50 which is greater than 7 square and smaller than the square of 8. So, the first digit of the square root will be 7. As far as now, we can say the square root can be 71 or 79. To find out, let's take a look at these two digits. Multiply them. You will get 56. Now, 50 is smaller than 56. So the result will be the smaller number which is 71. So your answer will be 71. Now to find the cube roots, first you need to remember the cubes of 1 to 10 and unit digits of these cubes. The figure here shows the unit digits of cubes of numbers from 1 to 10. Now let us try finding cube roots of numbers. Let's say 3, 7, 3, 2, 4, 8. If we take a look at its last digit, which is 8, we can say the last digit of the cube root will be 2. Now let's take a look at the first three digit which is 373 which is greater than the cube of 7 and smaller than the cube of 8 so the first digit will be 7 so your answer will be 72 now let's take in another example 571787 If we take a look at its last digit, we can say the last digit of the cube root will be 3. Now if we take a look at the first three digit which is 571, it is greater than the cube of 8 and smaller than the cube of 9. So the first digit will be 8 
and your answer will be 83. So 83 is the cube root of 571787. Here is an another example 300763. If we take a look at its last digit, we can say the last digit of the cube root will be 7. The first three digits, 300, it is greater than 6 cube and smaller than 7 cube. So, the first digit will be 6 and your answer will be 67.